So the Dyer Art Center focuses on deaf and hard of hearing artists and their work. And our exhibits, we collect, we are actively collecting work from deaf and hard of hearing artists. We have about a thousand pieces in our archive and we have them set up in various locations around here on TID, for instance. And the mission is to focus on deaf and hard of hearing art. We are really lucky in an extremely unique environment here, the only place in the U.S. you can find such a collection. A lot of people think that deaf art is something simple to talk about. People are deaf and they've lost their hearing, but there are many layers that complicate it further. Some people are profoundly deaf, some people grow up in an oral environment, some people grow up using sign language, some people are from a deaf family, some grow up in hearing families. So you can see the variety and there's a whole variety of individual experiences based on those. Art ends up becoming a way for people outside of that to look and be able to appreciate the complexities of deaf culture. As of late, we're seeing that deaf art isn't talking about hearing loss so much or the, the idea of being deaf. There's a shift in more about the identity um, of gender, identity of race. Uh, showing people's background experiences through the artwork and we're seeing that evolution happen in the work. It's, it's really kind of beautiful to see. I want to show the whole picture of the deaf art and where it's coming from and that there's a place for deaf art and that it's really starting to, you know, grow.